I'm extremely excited about this box that we're getting ready to dive into. This is from Silke in Germany, and um, I haven't gotten a box from Silke in a while, so not that she is supposed to send me boxes at all. I'm just saying, it's been a while, and so there's there's no telling what she has sent me, and so I'm just excited. Um, so, can I look at anything? She always gives us a cheat sheet. Oh yeah, she gives us a cheat sheet. She's very because good at that. Because most of the stuff's in German. Um, for my new <laughs> viewer, yeah, yeah. For my new viewers, Silke um, has been sending me stuff from Germany. It feels like for years now. She, for a long time, she has been sending me items from Germany to try, and we've sent her things. She sends us things, and so um, there we go. That is a Bath and Body Works box. It is. I guarantee you, I sent. So to in that box it. and she has sent it back. <laughs> Tinder! They have I changed, they've changed the packaging. These are my very favorite. Uh, they're the Milka Tinder and they are rolls. They're like little cakes, like a, like a Swiss cake roll, except they're like 10 times better than anything over here. Um, and no offense, but that's just the way it is. They're, they're so good. So thank you for those, Silky. Comte Zitrone? Zitrone? Zitrone. It's a lemon cake. Oh, yum. A lemon cake. Now see, how, look, she didn't number this because she knew how we know what that was. But like she put a number 18 on here. So Kevin has the cheat sheet. He knows what it is. Here's another time. And, um, oh, another 10. I just love these. And they're not, they're pretty low in calories. They're only 157 calories each. So, I mean, they're awesome. Okay, so a lemon cake. This is a uh, herb beer. Raspberry maybe? Red heart. Red barber. It's strawberry. Strawberry. Strawberry rhubarb filling. It's, rhubarb. It's vanilla cake with strawberry rhubarb filling. Okay, awesome. And they feel very um tender is that how you would say that they feel moist, moist. Tender, soft. yeah it's very soft yes Yoto. Mm, we have Yoto. had these before but i bet this is new they're thin wafer balls with caramel cream filling coated in hazelnut bits these are the caramello ones i don't think we've had the caramello ones that's so good. yes uh giotto i think that's how you say that giotto yeah, we've definitely had that brand, but I, I don't think we've had the caramello. Don't know. Um, they are small cakes. They're vanilla with slightly lemony taste, sugar frosting, and in Germany they are called Americans. <laughs> <laughs> American. That's hilarious. That's, That's awesome. I wonder why that would be American. It's watch. funny, this Lambert's brand, I have seen this brand at um, a place we have here called Tuesday Morning. Uh, they sell some things that are by this brand, but most of them are um, biscuits. That's I wonder what, why they're calling those Americans, though. I mean, I wonder why that represents What makes that American? American? Yeah, so, okay, what makes those American? Okay, this is number 15. This is a Milka peanut and caramel. Yeah, we haven't had this. Yeah, this is a new one. And I love the size of these. And yes, this is the actual, this is how they yeah, come. You break it open um, and you awesome. pull on what you want. I can't wait to try that. A Rami? A Rami. Rami, Rami. This looks like summer uh, edition. coconut. It is milk chocolate with coconut cream filling. Yep. And it feels like there's like four bars in there. Mm -hmm. Oh no, there's a bunch. And there's a bunch like of little squares. Like 16 little yeah. squares is what it feels like. Okay. Nusper chocolate salt and so I bet you it's sea salt caramel. Sea salt caramel. What caramel. number is that? 11. This has to be sea salt caramel. Milk and dark chocolate, salty caramel, and peanuts. Yeah. Sea salt caramel salty and peanuts. Caramel. This is the same brand. We've never Goat. had this brand. Goutier. Goutier. I don't think we've had this brand. Um, maybe. This is banana walnuts. You know, I say that. I'm afraid to say that. I, if we've had this brand, then it's been a long time. I don't remember. Uh, I'm not thinking we've had these. I'm saying maybe she sent us other flavors in the past, but I don't even think so. It's milk chocolate with walnuts banana. and bananas and cookie pieces. Banana, walnut, and cookie. So like a, um, 
Uh, banana pudding. Nope. Mm -hmm. This is uh, lime and mm -hmm. strawberry. Nine. Lime and strawberry and cookies. Milk chocolate with strawberry, yogurt, and lime and crunchy bits. Crunchy bits? Yeah, you can tell the word yogurt. Yeah. Okay. Uh, these are peppermint powders. I like pepper, peppermints. 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 Pfeffer. Like Hassan like Pfeffer. Like Hassan Pfeffer. <laughs> peppermints. Uh, they are peppermint coins. They're dark chocolate and peppermint with a fondant filling. They look like a uh, York peppermint powder. Yeah, a little small. That's one. what they look like. Um, here's pepper. 12. I like saying pepper. Pepper. Oh, Udness. that's that same brand. Oh, yeah. I don't. Erdness Mon? It's amazing you're sending us a brand that I don't remember ever oh. seeing. I... White milk chocolate with peanuts and poppy seeds. Huh. Oh. Poppy seeds. Well, it looks. That's the only thing you put poppy seeds on over here is. Uh, uh, Lemon bread or bread. Um, poppy seed bread. Poppy seed bread or bagels. Or bagels. I love poppy seed bread. Right, Ooh. This is creamy peanut butter. She said that's to compare to the U.S. version. Of and it says American style creamy. <laughs> uh, peanut butter is not a big thing other places. So, okay, I'm thinking I sent you some peanut butter. I'm, I'm thinking I sent her some. Mm -hmm. If I didn't, let me know because... Uh, I was thinking that I did, so if I, let me know if I'm wrong. Shulkin we have had this uh, brand six. definitely. <laughs> she literally wrote that. Nougat. <laughs> Nougat. <laughs> she wrote that exact thing. So um, I'm assuming it's just chocolate. Yeah, it looks like, uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, we have definitely had this brand because they sell these in Aldi. And so... I don't know if Silke looked these up and said, ah, oh, she hasn't tried this one, or maybe I have. I don't know. You know, we'll, we'll try it if we didn't. Ke keeks, Kex Nuts, Kex Noose. Noose, I think it it's... It is uh, Ritter Sport. It's white and cookie and nuts. Sounds good to me. There's another Ritter Sports. I bet you this is a brownie. Oh, yeah. Chocolate brownie. Yeah, it's a brownie. Um, chocolate brownie. That's what it says. And four is um Oh wow. I have no idea. Hitch Hitchler. 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 It's um, sour gummies with vanilla filling. The orange ones are orange, the red ones are strawberry, the green are apple, and the purple are Great. currant. Oh black currant maybe? Yeah, they they like the current more than grapes over there. Yeah, you all don't do grapes so much. Yay. Right, three. That sounds so good with vanilla in the middle. Haribo Smurfs. <laughs> Andrew loves. They're them. sour I mean, candies. I like them too, and they had They're these. Fizz. They oh they fizz? Yes they do. <laughs> they had a ton of these. It like I'm thinking in like Poundland um, in England, um, and we had bought some uh, a couple of different kinds. I know one was bubble gum. I forget what the other. I forgot one was, this one. This one's with popcorn. Ooh. Cream filled with popcorn crunch. Awesome! Oh, I can't cool. wait to try that. I like the picture on the front. That is awesome. Yeah, these are the same, uh, same brand. Okay. Okay, number two are thin wafers coated with milk chocolate. No, it says bladder. Bladder. Well, it's not spelled the. It's not spelled bladder or B-L-A-D-D-E-R. It's bladder. But I'm sure that's not how you say it at all. Probably not. Uh, waffle bladder. <laughs> and what is it? Coated with milk chocolate. Coated with milk chocolate. And then this one's uh, wafer cookies with hazelnut cream fill and chocolate coated. Well, cool. Thank you, you very fit much. so much into that box. That is absolutely awesome. Um, I think it's cool that I sent, I know I sent you that, that Bath and Body Works and then she sent it back to me. Okay. Um, so thank you and everything feels like it, you know, sometimes the boxes look like they've been beat all to pieces and back. Mm, this this one, one didn't. Uh, that milk of candy bar was the only thing that felt like it broke, but I mean, good, they break anyway, you can't so. help but break in these because they're so big. The but bread's good and good in together, it's not mush. Yeah. Like it, so everything's perfect. Everything is, I think it's just the way you put it in there. So thank you so she much. She said enjoy, Silk A. 
Stefan, Lena, and Elisa. Thank you so much. This is very exciting, and I'm going to enjoy the tenders, of course. And the only thing that I'm worried about that we may have tried is this, but you know, if we haven't, we'll be trying it. So thank you very, very much to Silk A. Well, in last week's vlog, we were here. In this week's vlog, we're here again. There is nothing back here. This is Lowe's Garden Center. Absolutely. Yeah, they, uh, they hardly have anything out here at all. But we're coming back to get dirt. How much did we get last time? We get, I think we got four bags. So how many are you going to get today? It says 547. That's that more sensible, I suppose. It wasn't that much. That's just malt, but it says topsoil. <laughs> Which one is it? Uh, Top it's for topsoil, $2.10. Oh, I mean, it's a pretty small amount. 0.75. Yeah, see, there's, there's nothing back here at all now. <laughs> there's very few little bushes. They have pumpkins way down there, and they've sold a lot of pumpkins. So. Because it's a bigger bag and you won't have to get as many. And that makes sense to me. It's just like 50 cents more. Yeah, that makes sense to me. And I know it's dark. Are you going to get four more? I'm going to get like five. Five? Because I'd rather have more than too much. Right. Do you want some help? Nah. Let me just stand here and watch you. Can I ooh and awe over your muscles? Black <laughs> This is called Stay Green. Stay stinky. Stay, does it stink? Well, that's probably because it's been sitting there for seven or eight months. And just the, the yeah, water and mold or whatever gets in there. That was quick. Now you get to push it. Over here is where we cut the tree down a couple years ago. So last week when we bought dirt, we put dirt here in this hole uh, because it, it when you when you ground the stump down, it, you were left with a big indention, and Kevin has trouble mowing it. So he's trying to level it as off as much as he can. So when we bought dirt last week, we put it in this hole. I think it was like I think it was four bags, and so he bought five bags today. It was about $26 for five bags of dirt. Um, so he'll uh, fill it in more. And by next year, by next summer, it will probably have settled again. And the people across the street, right over here, they got a new roof put on them. They got a new roof put on their house, and so for the last two days, there have been people over there uh, putting a new roof on the house. I'm sure it's been hard because uh, uh, that roof has so many different angles. My job is to stand here on top of the empty bags so that they don't fly away. Halloween coming up, we should buy some tombstones and put some tombstones right in the middle of that. I'm sure people think we're doing it now. So now Your he's sister asked how long, how long has it been since we got the tree cut down. She thought we had just got it done. Oh. It's like two or three years ago? People think it's new, I guess, because the new dirt. So now he's going to get a rake and he's going to rake it all down. I'm sure the neighbors are thrilled that their roof is finished because it is pouring today. I'm having to film on my iPhone because Ashley, um, Ashley had to borrow my camera, my vlogging camera,
for a class she has today. She had to film herself uh, teaching, so uh, so she took my camera. So I have my, my iPhone, haven't filmed on it in a, a while, it feels like. Kevin and I have several things to open from the P.O. box. This looks like it is a card from Lila in California. I can open that envelope. <laughs> Silly goose, you can start opening something else though. This looks like it is a um, going to be a fall card. I love that. Whatever you do on Halloween day, hope it's happy in every way. Happy Halloween, love Lila and Scruffy. Scruffy is her dog. We are using a different camera to film, so I cannot tell if I can. <laughs> I can't get up close to this, but I can hold it up like this. And it has this little jack-o'-lantern inside, and one side is glittery, and the other side is um, just a matte. But I love that. That is so nice. And I will definitely keep that out until um, till Halloween is over. Okay, let's see this. this is from Heather in Murfreesboro, Illinois. My first of is getting very dull. And whatever it is, she has wrapped it up. That's good. Yes. That's very smart. I, I, I glance up at the camera, and I don't see a screen looking back at me. So it's like, oh my gosh, is it turned on? Because it looks just like black to me, because we're using the phone. I actually had to borrow ca uh, my camera today to take to school, so that's why I don't have my regular camera. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at that. A pug's guide to etiquette. Now listen, we all know that when it comes to pugs, there is no etiquette. Well, I can't wait. That's cute. This says, please don't read the card on the camera, so I'm not going to read the card, but I can read hold it, it up. I will read it afterwards. Let me... Oh, okay, she sent me a bookmark, and this is, I can tell this is going to be it hilarious. Looks great. This is going to be a hilarious book. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to absolutely love that. Thank you so much. This looks like one of those funny, this looks like a funny book. I, um, this is short enough. I'm looking through it. This is short enough to be one that I okay. will read, but I won't read it like as a children's book. I'll read it like as an adult book. I'll put it, like I have a, um, uh, a playlist called adult books, and that doesn't mean dirty. That doesn't mean nasty or anything like just that. That just means that it's geared towards adults and that kids will not find that, find it humorous or, you know, be entertained by it. So... I will put this as an addition to my regular books. So, uh, thank you so much. And I will read your card off camera. I appreciate that. This is from Benjamin in South Carolina. SC. I'm assuming that's South Carolina. Okay. Oh, that's by that person. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, I thought, I didn't think I was going to be getting this uh, because it's been a little while since I heard from, from Benjamin. Uh, he sent me... Uh, and I think, it, I don't know if it was an email or a message, I think it was a message online, on, uh, through my YouTube page. And he said that he had written a book, and a children's book, The Adventures of Kid Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty meet, meets Shelga, and it's written and illustrated by Benjamin Boyd. So this will be a children's book that I will read, um... And uh, this will be after the Halloween books. I've got a period of time. I think I've said this before. I have a period of time between uh, the Halloween books and the Thanksgiving books right in the middle. So this book will come in the middle. It will be, I will read it sometime uh, soon. It'll be soon, actually. Uh, thank you very much for sending me your book. And... You know I'm not an expert reader or anything like that, so I pre I really appreciate that. Uh, but I can't wait to read it. So a kid Humpty Dumpty. 
And you know what I heard that was very, very interesting? That everybody just assumes that Humpty Dumpty was an egg. Nowhere does it ever say that Humpty Dumpty was an egg. It's just that way back when, somebody drew Humpty Dumpty as being an egg, so we all assume that Humpty Dumpty's an egg. Might be a person. Yeah, Humpty Dumpty was... Of course, he wouldn't be put together again if he was a person, but... Well, you don't know that. It's a cartoon. It's a children's... It's yeah. I mean, it's like when you're watching the Looney Tunes uh, cartoons and, and Daffy Duck falls apart, or, you know, and or uh, Tom and Jerry, and they fall... Or he falls apart, and, you know, or... It's true. It's true. Anyway, I thought that was very interesting because I never thought about that. Okay, this is from Shelby in Pasadena, Maryland. I didn't even know there was a Pasadena, Maryland. You were over there making all that noise. I was trying to fight to get that paper off. Don't show the address. Oh, sorry. That's just funny. He's over there making all this noise and I'm thinking... Boy, whatever's in that box is, because I try not to look, it's certainly wrapped up well. He hadn't even opened the box yet. So what did Shelby send? Ooh, ooh, uh, it's kettle clock. The crab chips. Chesapeake Bay crab chips. Could be interesting. I cannot wait to try this. And these, these are chips. the crab chips. The crab chip. These are gluten free. These are too. I wonder oh, what the difference uh, is. She wrote a little note, so. Well, these are uh, hand cooked. Oh, they just different. No, they're up, both of us. I don't know. I know. What oh, that one's with with. No, that's with Chesapeake Bay crab seasoning. Okay. And that one's not. Okay. Well, that'll be a very There's interesting a, she, video. She wrote a note. She or he. Fisher's she. popcorn, caramel popcorn. I wonder where this is. This is made in Ocean City, Maryland. Okay. I've never heard of uh, Fisher's popcorn, and I love caramel popcorn. Y River, W Y E, Y River Crab Season cra uh, Crabbers. Yeah, they're baked, baked cheddar, cheddar cheese. But they look crackers. like little crabs. <laughs> They do. The they literally look like crabs. I've never, ever heard of these before. Crab seasoned. So they're, they 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 taste like cheese, but they taste like crab too. I guess. Well, that'll be fun. And caramel creams. The original. The original caramel creams made in the USA. She said these, uh, we hope you enjoy the Maryland box. Um, and clothes are several items that are made here in Maryland. Fisher's popcorn is made in Ocean City. Goats, caramel cream candies? Goats, goats, G O E T S. Goats. That's these. Um, they're made in Baltimore. Y River Crabbers is from Y Rye River, Whoa. Maryland. <laughs> the Utz Old Bay and the Old Bay Kettle Cooked. Okay, that's the difference. Well, I thought that. Well, um, okay. Which are very popular here in Chesapeake Bay region. Uh, Us is based in Pennsylvania, but the Old Bay is based out of Maryland. Uh, we enjoy your videos and look forward to the review on these items. Shelby and Kim from Maryland. Thank you. You are probably the ones that would make sense that ask me, have you ever had anything from Maryland? And we have. We've had, uh, and I, I sent you the link. Um, we've had, and she said, those are awesome. So she's had them. Uh, these cookies we tried, I think they're called burgers. I want to say they're called burgers. I could be completely wrong. But they're huge. And they are they had a thick layer of chocolate on them. They were awesome cookies. I loved them. Um, this, this is so much fun. Uh, I love it that you sent me a um, Maryland themed box. So, um... Uh, we'll try the chips together, and then we'll try the other three together. Thank you so much. I love this. I love when we get things from people's states that we don't have here, uh, because we would never see, we see some Uts around here, but it's all very, like, g generic flavors, like sour cream and onion and stuff like that. We don't see anything like crab. Uh, that is not a big no, crab's yeah. definitely not around here. <laughs> no. Around here, it's uh, beer and, and whiskey. <laughs> Bourbon. 
Okay, what is this? Was this in that box? Yes. Do I need to open it? Um, I don't know because sometimes they talk about the flyer. Not, I mean, unless you just don't. Oh, care. I don't mind. I don't mind. This is okay. This last box is from Door County. Uh, Door County let me know that their Christmas flavors are coming out. Uh, they want you all to know. Uh, Merry early Christmas, Tammy. Here are some holiday coffee treats to kick off the season. Enjoy from Aaron Hoffman. Aaron is my my go-to person at Door County. Your contact. My contact. <laughs> my dealer. Um, so I I have not had these. Um, I oh good grief. I think this is the sample or gift pack or something like that. Well, that is it's full. Awesome. Um, I have not had uh, either one of these. These are new. I'm pretty sure new this year. This is the gingerbread spice latte, and this is the spicy nutcracker. Um, I have only had uh, five of their uh, Christmas flavors. I've had the candy cane. Yep, I've had the uh, Door County Christmas. Door I've had Jingle Bell Java. Don't see um, you don't see Jingle Bell I mean, Java? I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Um, hot yeah, butter, Jingle Bell Java. Hot buttered rum and white Christmas. White Christmas is in here. Uh, Jingle Bell Hot buttered rum. Hot buttered rum. Hot buttered rum. That was white Christmas. I Jingle love that rum. Jingle Bell Java. That that. Now, they is, don't have the. They don't have the. They don't have the hot buttered rum. Uh -uh. Of course, that might be. Maybe that's not considered Christmas. Was it? It was in a red package. No, oh, I don't know. They yeah. don't have it in here. At least. Um. Out of the ones, out of those five that I had tried, I think the Jingle Bell Java was probably my favorite. There's but, two of those in there. Well, good. Yeah. But this I, is like their Christmas sample. It not only has the older ones, but it has the uh, gingerbread spice latte and the... Um, spicy the, nutcracker? I think so. Yeah, there's the gingerbread, spicy nutcracker. Okay, good. Spicy nut. So there's two of each one. Oh, good. Okay. I, I think. I got a whiff of something as you're doing that. I don't know how. Maybe it's just the box. Maybe being there. I don't <laughs> know. I got a whiff of something. Yeah. So, so, so they must sell this on their website. Well, that's awesome. Is she sure. not saying there what it was? I know at um, one time she had said, I'm almost positive she said they were going to send us a sampler. Oh, okay. Well, you can go to www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.www.
And I'm wondering if any of you have ever had them or ever heard of them because neither one of us have ever had them and they look like little Smokies except they're purple. They really do. They look, they're the color of grape jelly. So that's very, very bizarre to us. Kevin and I are in Lexington today. We are going to, uh, I think it's called Vision Works. It does, it was Dr. Beiser and then it was Value Vision and now it's like Vision Works. So Kevin needs to get some uh, new contacts and he's gonna look at the glasses. And so we're over here at Hamburg and uh, I, I know I've shown you all this just recently, I think, not too long ago, but I'm wearing my coat for the first time. You could have parked, oh, there's not very many people over here. I forget it's Thursday. Um, so I'm wearing my coat for the first time this season uh, because it's cold. So, but it's, yeah, it's called Vision Marks and no one's here. That's a good thing for us. We're at PetSmart and they have their Christmas stuff out for pets. <laughs> These beds are nice. And then they, it's cute. little crinkle things. Crinkle, they have crinkle paper in them. <laughs> I can't imagine putting a dress on uh, uh, the, the cats or the dogs. And they have some toys around here. They even have a stocking. I like this. The caterpillar. They have a cute little caterpillar. <laughs> There's a peg. And they okay, look at the look at these specialty cookies, Kevin. Pet holland. No, he does not like anything hard. Yeah, if it's hard No, if it's hard he he just and I think where he's gotten a hold to his teeth. I don't think he can handle uh, eating anything hard. I mean, never I mean he has, he eats hard dog food, but just dog food, not treats. So, and then they have some stockings here, full of toys that you can give. So we need to get to the Purina for the cats. Yeah, I think it's down that aisle. So we told Ashley that we were coming over here and um, so we told her that we would pick up, we would pick up the stuff that she needs while we're here. She doesn't want pro plan, does she? Um, no, she wants, it's a blue bag. Yeah, it's this Purina one here, but it's for the urinary tract. It says gentle. It's actually like Purina one. Sensitive system. Uh, on la uh, Here's a urinary tract help. Okay, that's what we want. Urinary. It, it was for urinary tract. I don't see any other one to say. That, yeah, that's fine. Online, it was called Gentle. She wasn't sure what the name of it was. And then she wants... Oh, here, this one's called Gentle. Oh, uh, yeah, she doesn't get these. Okay, so she wants that one. Somebody's calling you. Yeah, she mixes them. So I checked my list and she did want that one for urinary tract. And she gets this Purina One Gentle. And so, cheap. no, it's not cheap. She said that we would probably pay a little bit more here. But we, this is the only place where we can find Guido's. Um, there's a bird loose in here. <laughs> This is the only place where we can find Guido's dog food because a lot of places have started selling blue buffalo like Meyer sells it. Adult, and food. I think, who said, Kroger? Does Kroger sells it, uh, sell Kroger it? But Guido has to have senior and they never have the senior dog food. No, it's fine. If you can get senior here. So we're gonna get, instead of getting one big bag, we're going to get two small bags because it tends to go stale. Yeah, it's $20 a piece. It tends to go stale if you if you put one big bag in a container. And so we're going we're just going to do that. 
two small bags. That's that interesting. Be a big dog. Yeah, like Onyx. Onyx would like those. Are these on on sale? No. This is Onyx too, on it. Yeah. Yeah. Over and over. He what does. Was it was Santa a Claus. Santa Claus. And he would bite it and it had a really slow release. It'd go beep. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. That is Santa Claus. That is funny. That is what he did though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's exactly what it, What are these little monsters? New. Top Paul Tough Guy Toys. And they say they're new. Those are... Those are cool. Are they plastic? Are the arms plastic? Yeah, they're rubbery. Oh gosh. Hard rubber, and the whole body's hard. Oh, it is. I don't know about that. It's like a fabric. Like I can't hands. imagine that being fun if it's that hard. But if you got dogs that tear up treat toys like really fast, right? Like Onyx tears them up. Right. This wouldn't tear up. Right. Well, that one's fifteen dollars. The big one is twenty. You got a big dog. Right? It's yeah, it would. Fat. A bull. Yeah, that's for he a big dog. Oh wow, those are thirty dollars for the huge ones. Hmm. They have all kinds of toys though, but Guido just doesn't play with them anymore. No, the cats like them more than the dog. Well, before we went in PetSmart, I told you we were going to get Kevin's eyes examined, and uh, just so you'll have a. A little bit of an idea how much it cost uh, his exam that's the contact and glasses exam and contacts for you got two pairs you got four boxes two for each four eye. boxes two for each eye that was 266.90 and then for uh, for lenses not um, he didn't frames. get glasses he didn't get frames he just got the lenses it was 157.50 and that's just for just, high def lenses I don't know they're just yeah basic. but they're not the ones that are like really really expensive because those were going to be over three hundred dollars and we were like no we just spent three hundred dollars so we don't <laughs> want those um, but you do kevin does have to go to a specialist they referred him to a specialist a retinal specialist um because they saw some kind of dark places two spots two spots in the back of his eye and it's in your field of vision is that what he said that's what he said close to your major field of vision or something right like that. so that appointment's not for a few weeks so um i'll have to uh uh, update you i'll have to update you and let you know yeah the girl told us that he would be at this specialist place she said he'll be there for about three hours she said because they do extensive tests and dilations yeah they'll dilate his eyes today he didn't get his eyes dilated because we have uh, uh we need to wait on him to get his gla uh, lint his glasses that's going to be three hours but we had some places to go, so he didn't want to get his eyes dilated. If we were going home, it would be different, but he's going to be in and out of the sun, so that's why he didn't want to. But um, So we went to PetSmart to waste our three hours, and then Kevin mentioned, which we need to go to PetSmart anyway, but Kevin mentioned, why don't we go back to Home Goods? And one of you had just told me uh, you that work you work there and you said that they get stuff in all the time and she said that her store is like full of Christmas food so I'm so glad Kevin suggested we go there because it should be a lot less busy than it was last time we were here and we can look to see if we find some Christmas goodies this time because that's what we were after um, in the last vlog I think uh, I showed that well, I just showed a little bit because they were so busy. So, if we find any goodies today, um, I'll share it with you, of course. Okay, this is at Home Goods and it is awesome. No awesome. They, a couple of years ago, had a TV ornament and it was like this except it was small and I regretted not getting it. And I thought, if they ever have it again, I'm going to get it. But it was it was small and I saw a bigger one over they do have a bigger one but I haven't seen any smaller ones if they have a smaller one I'm getting it guess. this year guess how much it is 400 more 
Six hundred. Six fifty. Six ninety nine. So seven. 700. You know, I was gonna say seven hundred. I thought there's no way that's seven hundred dollars. Yeah, but is. you could turn it on and it, it turns does that. Dust. I know that the tree thing probably spins. Part of the train goes around. Seven hundred dollars. But that is awesome. Awesome. It's well, cool, but it's not seven hundred dollars. Well, they've gotten all kinds of stuff out now. Um, here. I mean, yeah, and they have one of these over there, but it's bigger than what I was remembering. Yeah, here's the toy shop. That's cool. That's beautiful. Look at this one. That's nice too, this building. I saw that last time, yeah, last time, pretty. and I didn't see this one. But that is really, really cool. And of course, they have these little men all over, which I love. I like him. Mm -hmm. They had a bigger one, and it was thirty dollars. Oh, skinny one. Oh, no, I don't. I would. I wouldn't want the skinny one. I like the big ones. Yeah, I like him. I like yeah, the I'll, I do too. <laughs> and he looks like you. Put him. Yeah, yeah, round. Yeah. He's round like that. No, I mean because of his hair. Well, how much is he? Ten. Oh, that's not bad. He's really cute. He needs to take the place in the corner of our Halloween one. You cannot get him. Are you really gonna get him? Hey, sitting in the buggy. I won't say no. He's our little boy. He's, he's our buggy. he's our little boy. He's sitting in the buggy. <laughs> he looks so cute. Okay, I have to show this in the vlog again because Sandra and I were talking on Facebook about this donkey. I think this is Dominic the donkey. You know the song, Dominic the donkey? Oh my gosh. Look, I'm getting these. I'm totally getting these. Those are awesome. Those are $13 and I'm getting them. Kevin, I found something I'm definitely getting. They also have a Christmas count down here like we put outside our door. I want to get those. Oh, yeah, those are cool. Those they're are ornaments. Same. Too bad they're not two different ones. I know. But that's just how they are. They're they're I love them though. Oh, oh look, they have a little white one. He's cute. We've decided that our little boy's name is gonna be Ralphie. This is this is yeah, like on a Christmas story. This is Ralphie and he's being a good boy. He's sitting in the buggy. He's not making any noise. Not any toys. No, he doesn't want any toys. He just wants to be with mommy and daddy. So we're gonna keep him. They have all kinds of Christmas stuff now. Hey. These wreaths are pretty. Can you see these wreaths? You could probably make us yourself. Yeah. I like these. I like that one. I like that one. Yeah. Okay. You don't like that one? Yeah. I could tell you didn't. Okay. okay, somebody asked me. Yeah, that's the British bathroom garbage can that they don't work. You push on them and they fall over. Somebody asked me um, how much this was. So I hope that person, yes, because you picked it up last week. I hope that person's watching. It's, it must be, oh, it's on the front. Okay, that one's $50. But then they have smaller ones that, no, the smaller ones are 35. And the big ones are 50 down here. That's a different style. It's still $35. It's not bad though, because you get the figures and the Right. And they are nice. This one has lights on it. So hopefully that person's watching. So they've gotten their Christmas, look, this says unicorn tears. That's hilarious. That is very pretty. Look, this soap has a pug on it. That is so cute. Hope it doesn't smell like a pug. Yeah, this is made in Italy, but I want to show you that they do have their their hand soaps out. Oh, there's a bunch of towels behind you. A bunch of towels? Oh, yeah, they'll be putting all those out. They're getting them all out. Yeah, they're still in the wrapping. But they have, they just have tons of Christmas stuff everywhere. <laughs> Dear Santa, let me explain. Yeah. So we went in, um, 
home goods and you'll see that because I showed you the TV that's right and we talked about Ralphie that's right we showed you Ralphie and we did buy Ralphie um, right now he's in the trunk which isn't good parenting <laughs> but he's in the trunk um, and then we went to a place called the fresh market and we bought some stuff from there you'll see that in the grocery haul and now we're on our way to uh, Walmart but it's 4 30 and Kevin's glasses are supposed to be ready at 5 30 so I think we'll we'll do good um, but uh, I was gonna tell Kevin and I thought well while I'm telling Kevin I can tell you all too um, they said on Bob and Sherry this morning or not this morning. It's an old one. I listen to the podcast She said that Target announced like a CEO from Target announced that they weren't gonna get their Christmas decorations out until after Thanksgiving that they're going to wait. Target has made the decision that they're not going to rush Christmas. There's no going to not going to be a, a rush of Christmas, and that they heard from a lot of their customers that people want to enjoy Halloween and Thanksgiving before they get their Christmas stuff out. Yeah, what are they going to put back in the back for uh, between the, Halloween? And I think it's just going to be fall decor. So it will be interesting because what's funny is. As you all will know, I put out a video looking through the Target Christmas toy ad. So, they mailed out the toy, the ad for the toys for Christmas. Well, they want you to buy the toys. And it's also, the toy. <laughs> uh, Bob said, well, what about, um, I don't remember the what word he used, but he's like, well, what about the suppliers like, um, like the the food suppliers like uh people that have special food out for christmas like hostess put special christmas cakes out and um you know you have the pepperidge farm milano christmas cookies and stuff like that and she said well i don't know i'm sure that they're gonna still put those things on the shelves i'm sure if you're looking for christmas milano cookies or or already i have i posted on instagram i've already seen like christmas captain crunch cereal um they had at the, target. yeah at <laughs> target they had the halloween and the christmas right next to each other so they still are gonna have their food but I guess they're not going to have... You know what, though? That's funny that she said that. I, because we just... We were in there not long ago, and we saw the lights in the yeah, back. Lights. That's true. They did lights. Yeah, they had the Christmas lights. And the display. A few wreaths. Uh, they had the Christmas light display in the back, and that's usually one of the first things they get out are those lights uh, because that's something that they can go ahead and put in place. So I don't know if that's going to be all targets or not. I find that suspicious. <coughs> I think that's really suspicious. Um, but anyway, I, I just... I don't necessarily agree with that. And some of you may agree. I know some of you... Uh, have said in in your comments let's get through halloween or can't we just get through halloween before we do christmas but people start buying that stuff early people start buying the as soon as you put the christmas stuff out people buy it and so people are interested in it and you always have new homeowners and people that are buying their tree for the first time and they want to get their ornaments bought and they want to start collecting and uh, I just, I don't know. I think waiting until after Thanksgiving, I think that's an awful long time to wait to put out, uh, to fill in that section in the back. Well, people will just buy the stuff at Walmart and they'll lose out money. Yeah, they're going to lose. I think that's what's going to happen is they're going to lose out on some and money. If they do it one year, they'll realize, wow, we lost, you know, 400 million dollars or whatever we need to start putting it out early. Yeah, we got stuck with a lot of Christmas stuff that didn't sell. Yeah. We had to put it. 75 percent off after christmas because we didn't sell it before christmas yeah that's that i wouldn't doubt it if that's not going to be what's going to happen so uh, but right now we're going to walmart because the walmart over here in lexington is the one where we found the single screaming sicilian pizzas and ashley ashley has tried two of them she's tried the cheese and the mambo italiano yeah and she uh she said that she fed the she cat said the sausage. sausage was fine, but I fe I'll just be honest. I fed it to the cat, and he loved it. 
the cattle game. Like parish needs. He's like a goat. Sausage. He is like a goat. <laughs> One of those nanny goats that on that cartoon that yeah. just eats. Do you remember that cartoon where yeah, he's he eating eat, the? Then at the end of it, he ate the cartoon. Uh, yeah. He ate the end screen. Yeah, but yeah, during the cartoon, the there's like a train, a, yeah, and, he and he's the, eating the um, the, the train train. tracks. Yeah. Oh no, that was yeah, that was a full time train. Yeah, yeah he he's was eating like the train tracks. Parrish's poop smells bad enough as it is. He doesn't need to eat. He sausage. does not need to eat sausage, but she wants more of the cheese ones yeah. because she really liked the. She's like me. I like the plain cheese too. So we're gonna go to the Walmart over here, and I'm also gonna look uh, to see if they have some other holiday things. I'm gonna look for the new Oreos, and you'll know if I find them because they'll have been out before this comes out. So um, I will talk to you all in a little bit. Look at the baby. Look at the baby. Mama wants to love. Mama wants to love you. <laughs> oh, we feel so good. Oh, let me do your kisses. Let me kiss you. He feels like a bathroom rug. Okay, I'll stop. Guido is so sweet. I am on the exercise bike right now. And his bed is over here on the other side and he can't see me. So uh, he knows I'm not sitting in my chair. So he will get up and come around here. Now right now he's looking at the elliptical for some reason. Uh, but normally he will get around here and he'll just peek around the corner. And he just wants to make sure that I'm still in the room. Yeah, like he's doing right now. He wants to make sure that I'm still in the room and I haven't left him. And then he'll go back over and he'll lay back down in his bed over there. I don't know why he's standing here right now. He um, is really showing his age. He um, has a little bit more trouble getting up. You can tell that his joints hurt him a little bit. Uh, when we're out on the couch, it's hard for him to get comfortable on the couch. So sometimes he wants to lay in the floor. And then a lot of times when he's been in the floor for a while, he'll get really stiff. So I'm gonna keep, keep on here on my bike. I am going to end the vlog here. This is Kevin. Uh, <laughs> he yeah, fighting. Uh, yeah, fighting. You will see in um, the grocery haul that we had to buy a hard drive because his hard drive just decided that it was going to quit. And it has all kinds of information on it and stuff. And so he doesn't know if he's going to be able to get any of that back or not. Uh, but he's working on it. So that is the timer going off for the pizza. I will show you the pizza before I leave you. We'll go in the kitchen and look at it together. We'll see how it looks. How does the pizza look? Oh yes, that looks absolutely delicious. And see, we bought a Bessie's Revenge, but Pe Kevin put pepperoni on, um, he put pepperoni on his half and left my half with just cheese. I'm putting you up in the cabinet. Hopefully you don't fall over. The cabinet is absolutely full of grocery, groceries. So, anyway, um, I need to get the pizza out. Oh, I'm trying to remember how he does it. He actually uses the, one of these cardboard things. Ah, oh, here he comes. Just in time before I was going to mess something up. <laughs> yeah. So. There we go. That's how you take pizza out of the oven. And now he'll cut it up for us. But I am going to end the vlog here uh, because I, I feel like it's, it's a long vlog. Uh, it might not be, but I feel like it is. Um. But um, I wanted to tell you all that Kevin and I made the decision Thursday, no more Grey's Anatomy. We've watched it for years and years and years and years. Ashley turned us on to it way back and we uh, have been very loyal to it. We just decided Thursday that we're not gonna watch it anymore. They, they came on, it came on Thursday 
and we got like, I don't know, 10 minutes into the show and they were showing like Owen and he went back to, he was, they were going back to when he was like in the military and so it's just gotten to where it's gone on too long and I feel like it should have ended a while back and it didn't and um, it's just, it's not anything like it used to be. When it first started, uh, it was all about them you know, they were just coming into the hospital and they had all these neat cases and stuff like that. And now it's more about them and their relationships and they can't let anybody be happy in their relationship. Every time somebody gets in a good relationship, they have to mess it up somehow. So we're just over Grey's Anatomy. So that's it for us. But anyway, I am gonna end the vlog here. We're gonna eat this pizza, which Kevin hasn't cut yet, but he'll be right back in here to cut it. We're gonna eat this and find something on TV to watch. And I will see you all next week with, it should be a Halloween vlog next week.